Feeling very uh, French girl, French girl vibes today. <laughs> um, hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my top oud fragrances. Now there's quite a few different oud fragrances in my collection, but I only wanted to include the top of the top, the best of the best. And there is one that I've put at my number one, because this is a countdown list from seven to one. That for me is the best oud fragrance I've ever smelled. Truly, truly, truly the best oud fragrance that I've ever tried, ever smelled, ever worn. I wore it last night. I just got it, like I just got it like two weeks ago on my trip. And truly I would never say it's the best 10 out of 10 oud fragrance I've ever smelled. So all of these I would say are very, very, very well done oud fragrances. Some are sweet, some are dry, some are rose oud. There's all different ones in here. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into it. If you like Oud, this is a video for you. So my number seven is uh, Nazimato Black Afghano. Now it's number seven because to me this one is very, um, it's very niche. It's very different. It's smoky. It's smoky, Oud, woody, a little bit sweet. Uh, it's got cannabis in it. There's like a resinous sort of vibe, incense-y. It's a really good fragrance. Like I, I will be honest, like when I smell this, I think it smells fantastic. Do I always want to wear this fragrance? No, I've probably worn this fragrance about three times and I really had to be in the mood to wear it. So for me, I think that this one is obviously unisex, but I think it smells much better, like much better on a man because sometimes something this pungent and this strong only really a man can handle it. Do you know what I'm saying? For me, I don't feel like it's a bit, it's a bit strong for me to wear. So Black Afghano, Nazimato, a truly a great oud fragrance. And if you're a guy, you like oud, you like masculine, you like smoky, this is for you. Okay, so the next one we have is from Giorgio Armani, the Armani Privé collection. This is Rose de Arabi. Rose de Arabi. Um, yes, great rose oud combination. It's beautiful. This is definitely one of my favorite rose oud combinations because to me it's so well done, it's so well balanced, it's not too sweet. You can really, it's very, very, very luxurious to me. Like this really does smell like a luxury fragrance. Uh, it's got, like I said, rose oud, I think there's maybe patchouli. There's a little bit of a sweetness from the vanilla, but it's a beautiful, beautiful rose fragrance. But to me, this one is done so well. It's like a rich, rich 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 deep red rose that's what it smells like to me but it is stunning very elegant uh to me definitely unisex but if you're a man you really gotta like rose because in here to me the rose is one you know the rose is the star the rose is the star of the show in this one and the oud but they play so beautifully together coming in at my number five is kind of similar to the previous one I feel like when people do oud, they always pair it with rose. It's either paired with rose or vanilla or like gourmand notes or, you know, it's very rare that you find like a straight oud scent because it's very pungent. So I feel like a lot of them kind of smell, well, the next three kind of smell very similar. So Noir de Noir from Tom Ford had to be in here. I actually think this fragrance is incredible. To me, it smells like wine, dark chocolate, and rose. I know men wear this fragrance. You are free to do whatever you want. But for me, I think that this one smells quite womanly, like a, a really sexy, seductive, uh, sophisticated woman. That's what it smells like to me when I, when I smell this. It's very, um, yeah, very beautiful fragrance here. So like I said, rose, oud, uh, some vanilla, some gourmand notes, but not too much. Again, it's not too sweet. But for me, like I said, I can describe it in like a little sentence. Rose, wine, dark chocolate into a fragrance. Ooh, okay. Of course. Of course, of course, of course, were you guys waiting? Of course. This had to be in here. Lancome's Oud Bouquet. Now, this is definitely the sweetest. This is definitely the sweetest in this list for sure. And it's truly one of the best rose oud fragrances I have ever tried personally. It's unbeatable. Rose, oud, praline, vanilla. It's incredible. And I also want to say really quick, for the first time ever, I have had such a hard time finding the formulation, the newer formulation of this. I know this is the 2014 one, the original, uh, but all of you seem to not be able to find this and you all have the other version. But I want to let you guys know, I smelt the new version. I think it's like the 2016 in the different bottle. 
and it smells fantastic. It still smells just as good. This is just a little bit richer, a little bit more oily. So um, I don't know, to me, they smell super similar. So don't worry if you can't find this, just get the other one. They really do smell almost the same. This, like I said, is just richer and more oily and more, more decadent. So Oud Bouquet, uh, like I said, it's sweet, smoky, a little bit of the oud in the background. The oud is very much in the background for this fragrance. It's mostly this sticky, oily, sweet, decadent rose to me with the oud and the like little bit of incensiness in the background. This one is really, really, really sweet once again. Maison Francis Kirkjean Oud Satin Mood. Truly beautiful fragrance. Like, yeah, <laughs> I actually wore this on my birthday this year, which... I think you, you know, when you wear something on your birthday, you know it's good. Oud Satin Mood, I feel so expensive when I wear this. I feel so beautiful. It's very, very, very strong. All of these fragrances are very strong. So I would say, you know, lay off the overspraying, which is, is me. Like I overspray everything. But with the Oud fragrances, I feel like they can just, you, they go from zero to a hundred like really quick. So Oud Satin Mood, if you don't know, it's very, very, very sweet. It's like a candied rose. Again, you smell the oud, you definitely get the oud in here, but it is much more um, of the rose fragrance. It's powdery, vanilla, benzwin, violet. It's a stunning, stunning rose fragrance, rose oud fragrance. But like I said, very, very, very sweet. For me, I think that this one is, again, more feminine. Uh, I, I know that there's like a straight oud fragrance from Maison Francis Kirkshan. There's also the oud cashmere mood, the oud something else mood. For me, the satin mood is the most feminine. So maybe try the other ouds from the Maison Francis Kirkshan line because they are 10 out of 10. He is an incredible master perfumer. So definitely check them out anyway. So oud satin mood, very, very nice fragrance. Number two, my number two is from my favorite. <laughs> Uh, this is Leighton Exclusive from Parfum de Mali. Oh, yes, uh, this one to me is totally unisex, but I think it smells fantastic on a man. It smells 12 out of 10. It's truly one of the best Oud fragrances. If you don't know, it smells like the original Leighton, like the original DNA of Leighton, but it's got so much more richness and depth in the base of the fragrance. So like I said, there is Oud in here and you do get the Oud a little bit, but it's not polarizing. It's not like a black Afghano over here. Black Afghano is easily the most polarizing in this list, like easily. But this is super sexy, super classy, super sophisticated, very expensive, luxurious, decadent, incredible fragrance. For me, again, this is like a 12 out of 10 for sure. So this list was really hard. Like I love all of these fragrances, except for Nazimato Black Afghano. I love it, but it's not something that I wear like a lot at all. So Leighton exclusive, like I said, it's the original Leighton DNA added with some, like I said, oud, some richness, some coffee. It's just stunning. So love it. Okay. My number one. My number one is a, re a requent, a recent acquisition. And when I smelled it, I smelled it in Cannes. And when I tried it, I was kind of like... Not so sure, like on the paper, like I wasn't really feeling it and I don't know, like I just wasn't really feeling the fragrance. So anyway, I tried it on my skin and yeah, ever since then, hardcore love affair with this fragrance. I think that this is possibly, I said it in my uh, video, on my Instagram, the best fragrance that I've tried in the past like two years. This is it right here. This fragrance is the best, the best fragrance that I've tried in the past two years. I have a lot of favorite fragrances. You guys already know this. I love a lot of fragrances, but when it comes to something that blows you away, blows your mind, it's unique, it's special, it's different. It makes you feel all of the best things that you could ever feel. It's rare to find a fragrance like that. For me, Oud Bouquet, when I discovered it, was that for me? But this fragrance tops it. It tops Oud Bouquet. It tops any other fragrance that I've tried. So, so, so incredible. This is from Anisio Parfums, and this is Oud for Greatness. Yes. Uh, to me, like I just said, the best of the best. It's so different. It's so unique. And what I love about it 
is that it doesn't smell like anything else. It really does not smell like anything else. I don't even have like, you know when you smell a fragrance and you're like, oh, it kind of smells like this or it kind of smells like this fragrance or similar to that. I cannot even distinguish, uh, like I can't even compare this fragrance to anything. To me, perfectly unisex, perfectly unisex, probably leaning a touch more masculine. I wore this last night and I have not stopped wearing it. Since I got it, I have not stopped wearing it. To me, this is one of the most refined oud fragrances that I've ever tried. There's no rose, there's no harshness, there's no woodiness. It is just this beautiful, smooth, mysterious mist of oud, a little bit of a sweetness, a bit of an incense -y sort of vibe. It's definitely got a masculine kind of smell to it, for sure, but I love it. And like I said, if you're a fragrance fanatic like me, and you're a girl, you're a guy, try this fragrance, try it, trust me, just trust me, try it on your skin, yeah, that's all I'm going to say, so like I just said, it's so, like the word that I would describe it as, the word that I would use to describe it is mysterious, there is like this mysterious aura about this fragrance, not even just the bottle, I mean the bottle looks kind of mysterious, but not even that, the fragrance itself has an aura that is very kind of mysterious and sensual, sexy, dark, amazing. I think there's nutmeg maybe, there's oud, there's saffron. Uh, I'm not even sure what else is in there. To be honest, like you would just have to go and try this on your skin. Walk around, let it settle down and tell me you don't fall in love with this fragrance because I won't believe you. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I just said, it's a really refined oud fragrance. There's, it's not covered with rose or praline or sweetness. It's just unreal. So Oud for Greatness is easily the best Oud fragrance that I've ever tried. This is how you know. I'm probably going to get a backup bottle of this fragrance because God forbid it ever goes away. <laughs> so that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my top seven. Top seven Oud fragrances. I'm a fan of Oud. I really enjoy wearing fragrances that have Oud. Uh, but like I said, usually I go to the rose oud combinations or the sweet oud combinations. So this for me, this is like so different, stunning masterpiece. So that is my list. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Bye.